use the formula to compute this multiplication. 99 times 93. This formula has a name. It's called the difference of two squares. And notice they're saying you could write the multiplication like the left side, or you could write the multiplication like the right side. They gave us the left side. So we need to write this multiplication like a subtraction of two squares. These two are the same formula since the order in multiplication does not matter. You get the same master notice. You could say a plus b times a minus b or a minus b times a plus b. The order of the numbers in the multiplication does not affect the result. So the first thing is to recognize that they gave us the left side. They give us the multiplication version. We need to turn this into the subtraction version using this formula. So I'll write 99 times 93 in this form. So here's the 99 and here's the 93. I drew them on a number line. Notice how that's going to help us. So here's 93 and 99. Find the halfways between 93 and 99. Find the halfway number. So it's 99 minus 93 divided by 2. Therefore, the middle number, the number between them, is 3 units away from 93 and 3 units from 99. 93 plus 3 gives you 96. 99 minus 3 gives you 96. 96 is the halfway point. How are we going to use that halfway point? Now what we're going to do is rewrite 99 as 96 plus 3 and write 93 as 96 minus 3. Notice this is the A, and this is the B. Here's the A, here's the B. So the A's are 96, the B's are 3's. And following the formula, it's plus, minus. So now that we've identified who the A's and the B's are, now run it through this formula. So the A is a 96, so square it, minus the B is a 3, so square it, and then subtract it, and you get 9,207. You could check your answer by multiplying these two numbers, 99 times 93, and you'll see you get the same, 9,207. So this was practice using the formula. It was longer than just multiplying, but it gave us a chance to see how this formula is put together.